So my name is Matt Hodson. Uh, we live in Point Clare, and we live here because it's it's perfect for our kids. It's 100 metres from the park. It's all flat. You know, we've got the the walkway that goes from Gosford to Woi Woi, and um, yeah, it's just with young kids, it's it's the ideal spot. Um, you know, we can just pop out the back and don't have to worry about getting in a car. So it's just wonderful. Uh, I'm a chiropractor. I've been a chiropractor since 1998, and um, yeah, it's chiropractic is a real it's a passion. Like I think in a lot of ways you you live a, a chiropractic lifestyle, and so as chiropractors, it's it's a really holistic um, way of, of living your life, and so um, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a chiropractor to my core. Yeah, I grew up surfing on on the coast, and so that outdoors lifestyle is something that really appeals to me so when I went to university I got into rock climbing and and that led into ice climbing so we do a lot of ice climbing in in New Zealand and and then when I graduated it was it was my real passion and so you know, I would jump on my motorbike in in London and ride down down the autobahns to, to the south of France and go ice climbing for a week and then and then go back and get back into work so um, I was I was working in in Northern Ireland and yeah I was involved in a motorcycle accident. They, I don't have any any memory of it. I don't have any memory for the next month. We don't really know what happens happened. I, I just ran into a cliff and um, yeah I was really quite severely injured. You know I was unconscious and in a, in a coma for about six weeks and um, had lots of different surgeries. I ended up with a spinal cord injury, so paralyzed from my chest down and had spinal surgery and I tore open my stomach, so I had that repaired. I, I smashed all my ribs and my lungs collapsed, so I had a, um, a machine that was breathing for me. I smashed my knees, had my kneecaps removed and you know, I blo broke my jaw, had my jaw wired together and um, yes, it was huge. Yeah, I, spent, I spent a year in hospital, so um, not something I'd recommend. Most people do at, at 27 years old, but um, yeah, it, it was an enormous thing. Having the accident definitely changed changed my point of view on life. I think when you when you have something like this, where you have your ident identity, which was active, and I did sports, and you know I was doing a lot of adventure type of stuff, and to have that taken away. Um, was very different. It took me a long time to to try and find find an identity that wasn't linked to being active and you know getting out there and doing stuff. I still push things a lot, but um, I went through a lot a big period where um, I didn't really uh, I didn't register what was from my chest down, and so I would sort of push myself in ways there and end up with lots of cuts and scrapes and all that sort of thing and just ignore it, uh, almost like it wasn't a part of me. So I think that in that way you can push yourself pretty hard because you know, three quarters of your body can take the punishment and, and you're not going to feel it. You know, they, they say that you can't really do anything about the length of your life, but you can do a lot about its width and its breadth. And so to me, the challenge is fitting in everything that we want to do and, and making sure that we raise great children. Community, to me, is doing things when you're on, the, on your own in a way that you would do them if someone else was watching. So, so it's actually about being responsible and, and, and caring for the people and the places that we have. If I could inspire my community to change one thing, that would be for them to embrace wellness rather than waiting for things to break down and waiting for medicine to, to fix it. You know, for the, for the first time in history, people are living less than they have in the past. And we have this enormous this enormous problem with lifestyle diseases that are totally preventable. Um, but 
you know, are, are ruining our children. And, and if we don't address that responsibly, then it's going to change everything. Our whole, our whole healthcare structure, our government, it'll change everything. But at this point, it is, it is changeable.